Ahead of his arrival in Hungary tomorrow, today the Israeli Prime Minister is in France to attend an event commemorating the roundup of 13,000 French Jews during World War II. Uh, TV's Max Keisler is here with us uh, still. Max, what is going on in Paris? Well, Netanyahu is here for the commemorative ceremony, but he's also here to meet with uh, President Macron, and this is just a week or two after he met with uh, President Mahmoud Abbas. All right. I mean, there are some reports, though, that Macron is m supposedly more pro-Israel than his predecessor. Is that true? It certainly seems like a possibility. I mean, we saw some very strong language from Macron today that uh, anti-Zionism is a new form of anti-Semitism. I'm sure that made a lot of people in Israel very happy. Then, you know, his emphasis on trade, on cybersecurity, this can all lead to closer relations with Israel. All right. Well, I can't wait to hear some more. Mm -hmm. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu attended a commemorative service today for the 13,000 French Jews who were rounded up and deported to death camps 75 years ago. In his remarks, Netanyahu condemned the Vichy France regime for collaborating with the Nazis and betraying French values. They shattered the lives of thousands of French Jews at Veldiv. It seems that the values of the French Revolution, liberty, equality, fraternity, these values were crushed, crushed brutally under the boot of anti-Semitism. Along with that, he told French Prime Minister Emmanuel Macron and the French people that Israel will stand with them in their struggle against militant Islam. Macron, for his part, expressed his own regrets over the collaborationist actions of the Vichy regime and pledged that France will not accept anti-Israel or anti-Zionist calls in the future, calling them, quote, a new form of anti-Semitism. Later, the two leaders met at the Elysee, the residence of the French president, to discuss a variety of different issues.